Slamat Pagi, Kido here, and Mio here to tell you, back in the early days of YouTube, before Amazing Digital Circus and Skippity Toilet were getting hundreds of millions of views, viral meant more around tens of millions of views, with videos like Dramatic Look, as well as Mad Yeti 47's Master Thesis Animation, Kiwi that has 47 million views as of today. Oh, you don't know what a kiwi is? Let's get educational for a second. The kiwi is a fruit, but it's also a bird. Strangely enough, the fruit came first. The bird is a medium-sized, flightless fowl that is also rather flighty. It looks like a walking burlap sack. Not gonna lie, it's kinda cute in a really weird way, although the fact that it's endangered is no surprise at all. No surprise at all. You see, back in the days down there in New Zealand, they were having a bit of a rabbit problem. So they got some stoats and some ferrets to go take care of it. Unfortunately, the solution worked a little too well. They finished the rabbits and they moved on to second, second breakfast. breakfast. Because the kiwi is so utterly defenseless, it was the equivalent of a bunch of quirky girls walking into an all-you-can-eat chicken nuggy buffet. And now they are endangered, but some people are trying to bring them back. In case that wasn't depressing enough for you, just wait until we get into the animations that people have been making. A lot of them are surprisingly... Mm, sad? However, our sense of humor along with some wholesome kiwi animations should be enough to fight off the big sad. So let's observe the bird that broke the internet. So the animation starts with an adorable little bird just hauling stuff around, he's nailing some stuff in, he's just bouncing around, being a little happy guy. It's pretty funny to see him do all this stuff because he has literally no arms, so he has having to use his feet for pretty much everything in some pretty creative ways. He also pulls a hammer and nails out of literally nowhere, so I guess he also uses magic. <laughs> So it looks like his project is done, and he, he's all happy, and he jumps up and clacks his heels, runs off, and finds a little pilot's helmet and everything. How adorable, this animation sure is wholesome. He has now yeeted himself off a cliff, and he is falling. It seems that he's putting up some trees to try to simulate some kind of uh, tr tree place, and he's falling, but to him, it feels like he's flying. He sheds a tear as he starts to flap his little wings, and is like, ah, I'm flying. Then he careens down the hill, and then he hits the ground and dies. <laughs> I take back every single nice thing I said about this animation. This animator is sick and demented. If you see this man, you need to contact your authorities right now. I am in shambles. However, it's not all that sad. You must remember, he was strong enough to pull whole trees up this hill and nail them in. And he's got an invisible space-time pocket. You're trying to tell me he doesn't have a parachute or some kind of crash pad in there? He'd spent all this time, like, setting up the trees and everything, and he doesn't have, like, a trampoline or something. He survived. No sad. Put away y'all hankies. The video made a a huge impact on YouTube because it was so well animated by only one person and because it had a rather depressing twist. Its influence was so great and trendy that highly influential and trash channels like React picked up the video and got a bunch of random YouTubers to come react to it and cry. Some of them didn't quite get what was going on. What? Whenever I'm reminded of the existence of Kiwi birds, I come back and watch this a couple more times. Still hits hard. Almost as hard as that Kiwi hit the ground. What did he say? A fun fact. Smaller animals have a larger surface to volume ratio, so his terminal velocity is probably not fast enough to kill him directly. Uh, that sounds scientifically plausible? When I first saw this as a kid, I cried. As an adult, I now understand. A bird that strong and pull up those trees. <laughs> Must have survived that fall. Everyone in the comments trying to rationalize how the Kiwi didn't die. Well, it's true. You might be interested to know that there is a 2D version created by another YouTuber. It's pretty good, and uh, it's all in 2D. It's flat. It's nice, all things considered. It is different, though. Instead of the bird obviously surviving at the end of the last one, this one impressed God so much they turned him into an angel. As a Christian, I consider this biblical event non-canon. Despite the calling the creators uh, sick and demented, they're still really good animations, so they kind of deserve the views. Our next Kiwi animation came several years later, but still garnered 27 million views. Extremely impressive. It's called Nuggets, and it's about a black and white kiwi. He's biracial. He's just walking along, doing his normal kiwi things, like walking. But then he finds the golden nugget. He ignores it and continues on with his day, until he finds another. Apparently it's edible, so he slurps it up, and he becomes all happy and yellow and flies into the air. 
without wings, of course. Kind of just levitating, flying, being launched? What? How is he getting into the air? Not important. Either way, he's high. He comes back down and back to normal. And he's like, well, that was weird. But then he sees another golden nugget. And this time, he understands that it's pretty tasty, pretty interesting. So he sucks it up and he goes high again. But then he comes back down even quicker this time. So now he's running to get the golden slurpees. And he slips it up and he flies. But he's falling faster and harder. And he's starting to look like a roughly used burlap sack. He keeps on going after the golden slippers. He's looking worse and worse and things are getting darker. And at the end of the animation, he stumbles upon one last golden nugget. And we don't know if he takes it or not. Basically, this entire thing is about drugs. What one could extrapolate from this is that there's always another hit out there. Just keep running further and faster and harder. Outrun the darkness and get the slurpee. Get it. Drink it up. Or, you know, don't do drugs. Which is something that I, for one, stand by. I don't know if you do drugs right now, but you should stop. Because even if you don't love yourself, I love you enough to tell you to stop doing drugs. If you do suffer from drug addiction, please call your local help center for such things. And we're praying for you. You can do this. You can beat the drugs. This video is getting a lot heavier than expected, actually. Oh, this is cute. Oh gosh, it's about addiction. Uh, how about some Kiwis Dancing by, um, M.T. Matt. Yeah. yeah, look at him look go. Him, look at him go. Mm, that's a kiwi dancing right there. Beautiful. This is what YouTube was made for. And by the way, this is what a kiwi looks like when they're actually running. Pretty weird, huh? Where is Bo going? Where is he going? The next animation we're talking about is Kiwi is not Kiwi Bird. And this one was released just four months ago. So the trend of animating kiwis still lives on. So let's take a look -see. The premise of the short is that a bird kiwi finds a fruit kiwi and thinks that the fruit kiwi is a bird kiwi. I think. It like knits and everything, then has some tea. Very cute, very nice. And it's all in claymation, so this is incredibly impressive. However, things take an abrupt and very dark turn because it realizes that the kiwi fruit is not an actual kiwi bird. And then a bunch of stuff, black stuff, I don't know, comes out of everywhere or nowhere and just starts taking everything out. Uh, everything starts dying? I don't or like know. Like it gets eaten up or something and then it eats the kiwi bird or the kiwi bird jumped off a cliff. Kiwi bird disappears. Really not sure what to do with this animation. More than depressing, it's just kind of weird. Like, I don't quite understand it. It's very well animated, like it's stop motion. That's pretty cool. However, I just don't get the point. Perfect way to make a fool ground New Zealander to cry at 2 a.m. Anyway, this was by H-E-T-P Claymation, if you want to go check it out. Uh, time for some more whole wholesome kiwi dance. Did you know this is what a kiwi looks like and sounds like when it screams? Pretty scary. Brief side note, while looking for Kiwi animations, this animation popped up and it's literally one of the worst things I've ever seen. Back to the other Kiwi animations. This one's called A Kiwi Story by Elise Fatchen. Surprisingly, this creator only has 297 subscribers despite having a bunch of views on this video. Now this isn't really necessarily an like fully animated project, it's more of a storybook kind of thing. We start off the animation and see this adorable looking gonzo-like kiwi just hanging out, doing his kiwi business, goes to kiwi sleep and wakes up in the kiwi morning, but the forest is gone! Bad news! His beautiful home is destroyed, but not all hope is gone because there's a little bit of forest on the other side of a road. He would fly there, but he's a kiwi, so he can't. He packs up all his belongings and heads down to the road. He's got all his belongings in a nice little sack, and then he gets to the roadside, and there's a kiwi crossing sign. So it should be safe. It turns out it was not, and a car comes careening down the road. Luckily, the driver is rather tentative, and instead of hitting the kiwi, he hits something else and crashes. <laughs> Presumably the driver is okay. We don't exactly get confirmation at any point in this animation, but uh, I like to think he's okay. The license plate falls off the vehicle and lands next to the kiwi bird. And this bird has a mind not too dissimilar to that of Tony Stark. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! He works out the calculations he needs to use the license plate to fly. 
and fly he does. And he flies over the road and he flies through the forest and he just keeps on flying. I actually don't know how far he flew, but it has a nice little ins and it has a nice little inspirational message at the end. If at first you do not succeed, try, try again. I'm not exactly sure how this ties into the story per se. It's not like he didn't succeed in flying the first time, but you know, it is, it's a true words nonetheless. Yes, very based, very nice. Honestly, this animation is surprisingly wholesome compared to the other ones. If you ever feel like you can't fly, just watch this animation. I love this so much. Kiwi birds are my favorite animal. When the car crashed, I was freaking out so much. I thought the poor bean got hit. Ooh, nice story. We'll call them birds, beans, and I'm okay. The kiwi was so cute, I almost cried. Are you okay? But that's the last animation we're covering today of the famous kiwi bird. It's pretty interesting that this bird has inspired so many different animations and that most of them are, you know, a little depressing. Perhaps that has something to do with the fact that the kiwis are kind of going, you know, extinct. If you're interested in donating to a kiwi organization, feel free. We'll link something in the description down below, along with all the links to all the animations that we've covered today. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. It's a little bit different than uh, FNAF Degeneracy, but hopefully you found it pretty interesting. If you like this video, like and subscribe. We're aiming for 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Fingers crossed. And if you do subscribe, you'll get notifications for all kinds of cool stuff we'll be covering in the future. All things animated, including more FNAF Degeneracy. If you're looking for another video to uh, check out, this video over here is looking pretty good. And so is this video over here. But until we see you there, in the wise words of Gonzo, goodbye. Oh, you don't know what a kiwi is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know what a kiwi is? I'm <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me? Am I dying? <laughs> <laughs>